Well, hello everybody. Here we are at Thermal Take on the show floor of Computex 2023. It's pretty intense stuff, but I wanted to cover in this video a couple of coolers that I'm pretty passionate about, but at the same time, some constructive criticism for Thermal Take, some color options that are finally moving away from your typical 50 shades of gray along with basically white and black and a couple of other new AIOs. But first, I want to thank the sponsors for this show. Without them, none of this would have been possible. So thank you very much to Fantex, MSI, Thermaltake, and Cooler Master. So anyways, what I wanted to start off with is, of course, just a quick pan down here of the entire Thermaltake air cooling lineup because it goes from the Downdraft Tough Air 110 all the way up to the Tough Air 710 that we covered at CES. The one thing that I wanted to really emphasize on is that they've basically got something for everyone over here. But what you're going to notice, Eber, if you can just pan down just a little bit, is every single one of their high-end coolers, I tweeted about this a little while ago, has these things. These are, guess what? Plastic thumb screws to screw down your high-end cooler. It doesn't matter if it's like the $100 plus Tough Air 710 or one of the entry level coolers that costs like $50. These things do not have anywhere to actually screw them down. Now the main problem with that is the fact that nowadays mounting pressure is king. So if you can't get that proper mounting pressure or if you're just completely scraping your fingers trying to screw these things down, you're never going to get proper performance. Now we are going to be we are actually going to be reviewing the Tough Air 710 and in that video you're going to see me actually stripping my fingers. We have we have a wild Paul. A wild Paul. The coolers. The coolers are amazing. They're so cool. But they have thumb screws. Look at the plastic thumb screws. Thumb How do you screws? get that down? I have no idea. Right? How would you mount these? You you will strip your fingers and not get proper mounting pressure. Is that just for the show? That is not just for the show. What? Yes. I, I'm doing a review of this thing right now. Amazing cooler. Absolutely mounting and terrible results. Paul, 110 bucks. US. Uh, I, they, should, they should change it up now. So if I had any feedback for Thermal Take, it's like you're building a $100 cooler, but you're spending 0.25 cents on a bit of plastic. Don't do it. Color options are nice to always have, provided that, like Paul was saying, if you heard him, actually go with other things in your case. Luckily, Thermal Take has you covered because these colors pop up basically everywhere. So here you've got them on the air coolers, here you've got them on their AIOs, which you've probably already seen, but there's a bunch of different options. The other thing I wanted to talk about very quickly is this Tough Air 710 that has the terrible mounting system. It's also available in matte black. So if you want to spend 110 bucks on this and hopefully get an upgraded mounting system after they see this video, then you have matte black. So about those color options, I see a, a wild Dimitri here. So these color options are going from, as he would be saying, from matcha green all the way to... All right, so the color wise, we're looking at different colors that really match the, the cooler design. And that's something that you don't really see often, especially from a company. And when you have the cohesion between the two brands, not the two brands, the two product categories, and when they all match keys, that's when you know it's gonna be good. Beautiful, great things. All right, so like I was saying, the number of options here for the colors basically parallels every single one of their coolers, of their AIOs, and whatnot. And that's very important because if you wanna come around here and look at this, right here, you look at the color and it matches absolutely perfectly to everything. It is this one holistic thing. You don't have to worry about 50 shades of white or 50 shades of gray in your case. If you stay within the thermal take ecosystem, you are almost guaranteed color matches as long as you like matcha, green, and teal. So there is one little new option to thermal takes lineup here, and that is an entry level air cooler called the UX200 SE ARGB. It's your basic entry-level piece of entry-level air cooler. This is not going to be your $50, $60 item. This is going to be probably around $20 to $30. So yes, they are entering a little bit lower price point, 
good for them. They needed something in that area because their current offerings were really, really lacking. We're going to see how this performs maybe in one of our roundups a little bit later this year, but let us know if that's something that you want to see. So the next little item that Thermal Take wanted is a little bit of a feedback piece. You know that the Tough Ram, or at least you should know that the Tough Ram comes in a bunch of different colors. Some of those colors, again, match the cases, match the coolers, match the AIOs. The other thing that they want to maybe introduce, holy gee, it's a stampede. Go! All right. So, we, we have, we, we had a wild stampede right on camera. Welcome to Computex, everybody. Anyways, so <laughs> this part of the feedback piece is really about what they want to do with the next step. Maybe a little bit more sort of like user interactivity, user customization when it comes to what the modules actually look like. They maybe want to offer user interchangeable heat spreaders for their DDR5 and DDR4 modules. Sounds like a very, very good idea, but you have to remember that there are thermal pads between the ICs and the heat spreaders, and any type of user interaction with something like this, it does maybe tend to have some issues when it comes to people breaking stuff. So it is a very, very interesting concept to offer these type of, I guess, more blinged out features for memory, but are you really gonna see it in most builds? I don't think so. I, I personally think that this is something that maybe will sort of appeal to a niche market, whereas other items like this, it's very much aligned with a overall look of your system that keeps you in the thermal take ecosystem for color choices. The last item I want to talk about is, well, it, it's actually something that's probably gonna appeal a little bit more to the budget market, and it's not a massive update, but it's so, so important for thermal take and a lot of their customers. The TH series has always been thermal takes budget oriented AIOs. We're not talking about hundreds of dollars here. We're talking at a sub $99 starting point. But the problem with the older series is the fact that it looked really antiquated. The pump RGB just looks like something out of like another era of PC building. But now what they're doing is they're actually removing all of these sort of like bulbous edges. They're extending the radiators. They're actually squaring off a bunch of the corners to make it look a little bit more streamlined. And probably the most important thing for a lot of budget oriented people who want to have RGB is that pump head. That pump head is basically moving to something that's a little bit more subtle. Instead of looking like something that came from like 1999, it looks really, really dated. But anyway, so this is the new TH series that's gonna be available basically from a 240 millimeter radiator, potentially all the way up to a 480 millimeter. And the best thing about it is the fact that it is not getting a one cent increase over the previous generation. So anyways, that's Mike with Hardware Canucks. I hope you enjoyed this coverage from Thermaltake and I'm going to see you in the next one. Take care guys.